Welcome. In front of me, I have the iPhone 17 Pro, and I'll be showing you how you can import your music from your computer or any kind of physical media to your iPhone. Now, the benefit of this will be that you no longer need any kind of streaming platforms. So, uh, I'll be using Windows for this, which you can clearly see, but you can do this on Macs. You actually will be much easier than it is here. As on Macs, you don't need to download anything. Everything that you will need for importing your music is already pre-installed with the device and with your computer. But unfortunately, on Windows side, we do need to download two programs. If you're still a OG kind of uh, Apple user, you probably remember iTunes. That no longer works uh, for like I don't know, a couple of years now. So instead, uh, let's uh, go into our Windows Store or Microsoft Store because I don't remember exactly the names for these applications because you know I'm, I'm just used to iTunes. I'm gonna search for iTunes because it will still show up with the results that I need. So one of them is Apple Music. The other one is, no, there we go, Apple Devices. I can see both of them are installed for me. Uh, we don't actually need to use Apple Devices, I think. Oh no, wait, no, we do actually, sorry. So yeah, uh, we only need to interact with both of those. So um, install both of them. And once you have done so, we're gonna start off with Apple Music. So open it up and you will want to have your physical media in here. Now I'm gonna go through literally every kind of process that you will need to do to have everything organized and all that stuff. So starting off, find where you store your physical media, meaning your music. I, for this purpose, I have this in correct places where also iTunes detects it. So if I go into Windows Explorer right here and into music, Apple Music, Media, you can see I have songs in here. So for me, they're already in a correct place, so I don't really need to do much, but uh, now find your media, place it where you want to store your music, basically, and from there, just grab it and then drag it over to here, like so. Now, as you can see, no songs got added here because they exist. There is three, which you can also see, uh, this is one of the things that I want to kind of point out. So we have three songs in my music folder, but only two get added even though I try to add all of them. The reason for that is, I believe it's this one. You can see it's a format called FLAC. Now this format isn't supported by iTunes because God forbid, a uh, trillion dollar company could actually support the looseless format of media. Um, instead, they're just supporting the bare bone like MP3 formats. But for the most people, I think that it's gonna be fine. But as a even music player, uh, considering you can play music from here, not supporting a flag format in 2025 is the massive L. And considering this is a redesigned application, specifically like done a couple years back, uh, because the old one was dated, they haven't fixed shit. So it still doesn't support black like it did it, like it didn't in iTunes. So you're not really getting anything extra here, by the looks of it. So now uh, I want to point out the music I have right here. I have downloaded, but this is actually uh, music that I own myself as a vinyl. So I'm completely fine uh, showing this off uh, with this kind of thing. So there are a couple ways, obviously you can get your music if you don't have one. You can download it from the internet. You can convert YouTube into MP3s. Uh, you can uh, rip off uh, CDs uh, or download it from torrents, for instance. Or probably the most common one for a lot of the people will be just buying it uh, outright on, for instance, Apple Music. Now the music that you buy here, I believe I remember correctly it came in a different format uh, that also uh, Apple Music supports but uh, it's, it's up to you which one you pick um, last time I checked it was I think like a dollar 99 cents or something like that per song I don't recall if this this is correct now they never actually bought music through Apple um, but if it's about 99 cents I would say that this is a fair price for a single song 
and it might be okay idea to build your library like that if you want to have physical library and obviously the benefit is once you plop the songs onto your phone you no longer need to worry about internet connections outages and anything like that you can always listen to it no matter where you are so now that we have our music uh, added in here and uh, and all that another thing that i want to point out is the metadata this will be very important once you import music uh, to, to your Apple Music or your phone as metadata will define, for instance, the album artists, um, artworks and all that stuff. So if we click on our song, right click on it and navigate to properties, you can see here we have all the metadata. You can change it in Apple Music uh, whenever you want, uh, so that's pretty nice. So you can see we have artist, uh, album, uh, we have uh, composer and uh yeah basically all the info so this is just page one uh then we have the artwork or basically cover uh lyrics which are missing right here and uh, some other info so you want to fill those out as when we move on to the next page of actually importing the music this will matter more so assuming you have all your music already here all your music sorted uh, and labeled correctly, which if you're downloading it from places, for instance, like uh, this, um, it comes with metadata, which is pretty nice. Um, but uh, now that we have everything sorted, we can close this as uh, it's not really needed for anything else apart from just storing our music uh, when we need to move it to a phone. Literally serves no other purpose. Um, so from that, we're gonna navigate to Apple devices just move it. There we go. we're gonna grab a cable and you just want to plug it in to your computer now we're gonna select trust and it shows up give it a moment it might take a second here I'm gonna skip backing up we need that. I said skip backing up. Come on. Skip. Stop. <sighs> Only Apple can give me two absolutely effing useless buttons that don't do what they're supposed to do because Apple will sync my freaking device. You know what? Screw you. You're not syncing this. I told you to skip. So, how about now? Wow, look at that. You're done syncing. Good. Like you're supposed to do from the beginning. Okay, so now that our device is actually plugged in and I got annoyed by this, we can move over to our music right here. You want to check the box right here, sync music onto uh, basically the iPhone. And we have two options we can go with. We have the entire library or selected album artists, uh, genres, and playlists. Now, depending on how much music you actually own, uh, this might depend on which option you want to select. For me, as a super easy way, I can just select entire library, which would uh, then get the whole two songs that I have added, like big whoop. So that'll be just two tracks for me, obviously not really problematic, but for the purpose of uh, showcasing additional features, I'm going to select the uh, this option right here. So selected artists, albums, genres, and playlist. And now, if we look down here, under artists, you will see all the artists that you have added to your Apple Music. You can check the box for each one of them that you want to move to your phone. Same thing for albums, genres, and if you have playlists created, they will show up right here as well. So you can select specific playlists to sync. And each one of them is uh, obviously gonna import the music. So if, as an example, I had a playlist with the artist that is already selected right here, it's not going to import it twice, it's just going to be one, but it's going to show me an actual playlist in Apple Music, uh, meaning this one right here. So I don't need to create those playlists again on my devices if I already have them in Apple Music. So uh, I'm going to keep just the artist right here, as that's probably the simplest thing, and we can now select Apply. And now, let's give it a second. Oops. 
Oh great, now I get to actually wait again for it to sink. Awesome. Okay, I will pause the video just because this is going to take longer than it should to literally sync up two freaking songs, so... Okay, so we're almost done with the backing up process, even though I try to skip it. Uh, you know, Apple does Apple things, they will gobble up all your data. Privacy, right? I feel like my privacy is so secure when the device literally uploads itself to the internet for Apple to see without my permission. Awesome. Anyway, um, so, looks like it didn't actually sync shit right now, so that's very nice. So anyway, I'm going to check the box again and uh, select again, apply. This time around it should go faster. Yep, there we go. Boom. And it automatically appeared right here. You can see it. Uh, so, if we go back into... There we go. So we have songs, we have albums, and we have artists, so we can check each one of them. And obviously you will see everything here. And I can obviously play it. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay, that's enough. Please don't strike me. Um, so, there we go. Now, I want to also talk about one more thing that will be very important. Depending on what, which computer you use to import your music to, to your device with, that's the computer you will be locked to. Uh, Apple has this annoying thing where you can only sync music from one device. So if I were to unplug this phone, move it to a different computer because, hey, crazy idea, maybe you have two computers, right? Uh, in Apple's mind, I guess you're even too rich for them. Maybe you can afford to buy your mom an iPhone, actually. Um, so in any case, Basically, if you try to import music from a second computer, um, it will tell you that you need to remove the music that you have imported on this one that I'm using right now. So basically, I can only have music synced to my device from a single PC. And uh, that's a bit annoying. For a device in 2025, that is a just stupidity beyond belief. And it it's constant initiatification but something that has been with iTunes at least since the beginning so in reality not much has changed but considering they improved uh, their softwares and whatever that's why we have two that thing should have been removed but it's not so something to keep in mind now one more thing that I want to add for for future usage of programs and you know adding more music and stuff like that when you select uh, anything like your artist album or genre as an example if i now add uh, go here and let's go here if i add a second song or well third song right now I just unplug it there we go and i am gonna move back to youtube uh, to apple music and let's get this so I'm just going to drag this new song in here. You can see now I have three songs. Close it up. Plug back in the device. Now, um, typically when you plug in your device, uh, for instance, the next day, it will automatically do the syncing process. So it won't ask you, it will just do it without your permission. Similar to how they did at the beginning of the video or midpoint, I would say. Uh, so you won't really need to do anything, but for the purpose here, just because it's still the same day, I can press sync and this will act the same way. Like I said, if you plug it in tomorrow, this will be automatic, no button press needed. So what we'll do now is sync the music uh, that I have added. I don't need to select anything as long as, uh, for instance, the artist that I've added is falling under the artist that I have selected to be on this device, it will just get moved here. And there we go, you can see it just appeared. So, pretty simple. Makes it a bit easier later on if you add new songs of, from a specific artist or whatever that you want to have on your device, they will get automatically transferred over to your device when you plug in your phone to your computer. So, anyway, once you have everything set up, it's pretty seamless. 
and relatively convenient. Uh, it's just the hindrance of being locked into a single computer is a bit annoying. But anyway, that basically sums it up. So I hope you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.